Hi, welcome. Today's fly I'm going to tie is uh, a very productive pattern. Uh, fishes all over um, on small waters. Um, it'll catch a fish all the way through the year, summer and the winter months as well. So it's a, it's a here's the end nymph. So we'll get tying. Um, the hook I'm going to use is a size 12 Hannock. 230 BL and the materials will describe as we go along. The thread I'm going to use is a red 8O dark red. So we'll start behind the eye. Go down towards where the barb would be, but there's a barbless hook, so now what we're gonna use obviously for the for the body is hair here. So we'll have I've got a mask here, you can buy it obviously already in box, but I've got the I've got the whole mask here. This has obviously different different textures and colours on it. So what I want for the tail is um, some of this longer stuff on the sides so I'll select the bit from the edge cut a bit off and what I'll do I'll take the take the fluffy bits off the back and then we'll Tie it in on the top. I'll do a nice heat. This is all going to get covered up. Now I don't mind the, the red thread showing through the the he has here dubbing, I think it, uh, it probably adds a little bit to it as well. So what I'm going to do now is, I want a, um, a rib. And what I've got is, um, this here, Crystal Flash. It's, this is a medium size, now it's, it's strong, you can actually, when you stretch it, it gives you a nice effect. So I'm going to tie that in along the shank towards the tail and then back I'll just clip that on one side now what we're going to do now for the body is we're going to make a small dubbing loop so we'll create a loop spin it around a couple of times Take it back to there. Now we we'll use homemade twister. So just put that in there. And now we're gonna select some fur for the body. Now I like a mixture of this, I like small stuff, so I'm gonna pick bits off from around the ears, some of the some of the larger stuff as well. Whoops. Some of the larger stuff as well. Mix it up to give you different colours. And I'm going to put this into the dub and loop and then spin it. So we've got all different different lengths and textures in there. We'll just mix it up. We'll open our, our loop and then we'll spread it inside our loop. do 
now turn to one side so we don't catch the point and then spin it so we'll spin it around So as you can see, it causes a nice, nice body, nice and spiky. And what we'll do then is start rotating it around the body, get towards the back. And then just create the body. the head and then when we get the other head we'll push that back a little bit and my thread and then over the top a couple of times Pop that in and then snip off our double loop. And we'll just brush that back a little bit, put a couple of turns in there. And then we've got our rib. Now this, when you stretch this, start at the back, you can actually pull it tight. So we'll do about three through and then one at the front. And then tie it off towards the head. And snip that off. And then what we'll do, push this back. Now for a little bit of security, we'll put one in there. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to have um, put some little cheeks in. Now you can use um, if you have plenty. Um, you can use jungle cockless cheeks, but obviously not a lot of people have loads of jungle cock lying around. The, the cheaper option um, is goose buy it, white goose buy it. So cut a couple off. Like so, and then just take your scissors and just trim it at, a, at an angle. I'll put this side one on first, or so I'll turn it easier to see it on this side. So we'll just catch that. And then obviously you can position it on your with a, if it's just a loose wrap and then get your other side to so exactly the same cut the point off at a, at a slight angle put it on the top make sure you're happy with the position before you Make your head turns. And then what you can do here is snip, just pulling this should come off. There you go. And then you can create your head. Not too big. Finish it off and then snip away. Now you can 
finish your head off by um, varnish or UV resin, whichever. You can So, if need be, you can um, in case you get any varnish down in your eye, you can use a bit of that and clear it out. And there you have deadly pattern. Like I say, it fishes all year round, floating line, intermediate line, team of flies. It'll catch the um, the picky trout when they've seen all the lures and everything in the winter you'll catch on these. So if you like the fly, um, please subscribe to my channel. Have a look at the other flies. I think you'll like, uh, like some of them. Thank you. Cheers now.